What's up everybody, it's Rashad Bowie. Consider hitting that like and subscribe button as I upload videos on a weekly basis covering the hottest topics in sports, especially if it is OU related. This is Ballin' with Bowie. Today we're going to talk about a trend that continues for the United States men's national soccer team. They are not going to be in the Olympics this summer in Tokyo. They have not qualified for the Olympics since 2008. So let's talk about why. They played Honduras, Honduras today in the semifinal match uh, in the qualifiers. They had to win to qualify for the Olympics. And you expected the United States to be able to get that done. You expect them to be able to handle business, business against Honduras, but they couldn't. Um, they, they went in running a 4-3-3, which is no surprise. Uh, Ferreira at center forward, Dodson at right mid. Uh, Yule at center mid, uh, Ochoa at at the goalkeeper position. So you know, you know, same players that have been playing this entire um, qualifying tournament played Honduras in the semis in 2015, and Honduras won 2-0. So here we are, 2021, playing Honduras, trying to qualify for the Olympics, and same old story. First 15 minutes of the game were pretty slow for both teams. Not much. Happening, neither team could get into a rhythm. There weren't like any shots. Uh, there weren't a bunch of fouls. You know, it was just kind of dribbling back and forth uh, for the first 15, 20 minutes. USA had a lot of through balls um, that they could not connect on. They were hitting them too hard, and they were going out of bounds. And their off ball movement wasn't good. They had sloppy passes. And USA just did not play good for the entirety of this game, pretty much. Um, they didn't look well prepared whatsoever. And Honduras ended up scoring off of a beautiful cross, I will say that, in the first half in stoppage time. Um, right, be right before halftime, they ended up putting one in the back of the net to go into half with a 1-0 lead. And then coming into the second half, Ocho Ochoa had a terrible mistake, and he goes to, he's in his own box in his own 18, and he goes to just pass it to his defender, and one of the Hondur Honduras players steps in front of him and s sticks his foot out and the ball deflects and goes into the back of the net. So that puts Honduras up 2-0 and I mean that, that kind of was the end of it that you could see all the life get sucked out of the United States players after that moment. That happened in the 47th minute. Fast forward just a couple minutes later to the 50 52nd minute and Yule did score from the top of the 18 to make it 2-1. And, and for a second, you're like, okay, maybe we, maybe we can do this. But they still, they played with no passion. They lacked passion. They lacked heart. They lacked effort. And, and those are the things that win you games. I don't care who you're playing. If you play hard, if you play with passion, if you play with heart, you will come out victorious most of the time. And they lack that all across the board. Continuing on, Lewis missed a perfect opportunity to score in the 84th minute to tie it up and he didn't score because he wanted to do something fancy he wanted to hit it with the outside of his right foot instead of just doing the simple thing doing the smart thing and using his left foot and just passing it into the net he was in the six yard box or just outside of it he was in that area and he tries to hit it with the outside of his foot and he freaking shanks it behind him he didn't even go in the direction he wanted it to and if you do the simple things instead of trying to be fancy You'll, you would have put that in the back of the net, but instead you wanted to do something creative and it, it cost, cost you the game, pretty much. USA had nine corners, I believe, um, and they didn't score off any of them. I mean, you can't have nine quarters and, and not score off any of them, and none of them were even shots on frame. Like They, they weren't executed well at all. Uh, several of them ended up going all the way across the field and no one touching them. Some of them were too far back, and, and they would just land in a dead zone. So I don't know what the plan was with, with the corners. But end of the day, Honduras, victorious, 2-1. to one, Sends United States home. Uh, had to wait another three years. Been waiting since 2008. And we're going to have to keep waiting, because the United States isn't ready to, to make that turn and, and be in the Olympics. Don't know when that's going to be. I thought this was a, a fairly good year. I thought we had a, a lot of young talent that we, we would have been able to, to push through. I know there were some players that weren't able to, to play for the international team because the MLS wouldn't release them. Not sure why they wouldn't release them, but 
some some of the MLS teams wouldn't release them. So, but that's that's no excuse. USA should have qualified. So they're gonna be sitting at home watching the Olympics for another year. So I don't know. Um, we get to cheer on our women though, man, and they're the better uh, of the two, anyways. The, we all know that the women are superior, without a doubt. Um, so that's what I'll be doing: cheer on the women while the men are sitting at home once again. Catch y'all later. Deuces.